It was the first ever game, men or women, played on Parisian soil. Our very own Leslie Visser reported from the City of Lights. On a cold November day, the Eiffel Tower is majestic, and she's part of the reason these two teams agreed to play. We're here at the Eiffel Tower. Dawn Staley actually played in France when she graduated from Virginia. She, along with all the coaches and the players, are enjoying the Eiffel Tower. No one expected any women's basketball team to be here opening up women's college ball season. Notre Dame, South Carolina, when you talk about women's basketball, that's the first thing that you're going to say. Notre Dame. <laughs> In the shadow of Notre Dame, huh? What a way to start the season. This is incredible, huh? yes. Is that, have you, well, you've been in France. I've been in France before, but this is the first time competing, obviously, in a, in a matchup on this stage. So it's going to be. so thrilling. Just the opportunity to be able to play somewhere else than in the US and just like be able to expand our game in the world with a big game like this is amazing. The women's game is growing, and not even that, just us getting to play our first game in Paris. A lot of people don't really do that, so I'm very excited for us in Notre Dame. Is there anything that anyone asked you to bring home specifically? A win? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A dub. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Paris. Um, it is a city of love. We have a theme every year, and fortunately for us, we chose for it to be love. The love of the game, the love of our fans, the love that you have for women's basketball, um, the city of Paris, we appreciate it. Uh, we feel like we're just blessed to be the team that was chosen to be in this epic, historic matchup. First collegiate game in men or women's basketball history, the fact that they chose us shows how special and unique Notre Dame is. The U.S. Ambassador to France, Denise Campbell Bauer, lives in this beautiful, nearly 200-year-old residence. But long before she became a diplomat, she was a strong advocate for women, so she knew immediately the meaning of this game. Ambassador, we've seen the explosion of women's basketball around the world. Why is this game important? Well, there is this idea of sports diplomacy, which, as you know, has been a, a pillar for the State Department. We've invited 150 young people from France to come to the game. And just that opportunity for kids that have never seen a live basketball game and then to see these fabulous women playing, I think it'll be really inspiring. <laughs> Lee, you've taken teams all over the world for more than a decade. Why did you put together this matchup? We're bringing young girls out who are in the French League here in Paris to be exposed to both of these women's teams. We're doing things that is bringing all walks of life and all cultures together. And through the foundation of basketball, that's really what this is about. Bonjour, mes amis, et bienvenue dans l'Andy Lumière. That's South Carolina French. For hello, my friends, and welcome to the City of Lights. Hidalgo, around a screen, coming to her left, splits two more defenders, and gets a layup between two Gamecocks defenders. We go the other way quickly. Full Wiley goes the distance, weaving through defenders, a no-look layup. Run it! The Gamecocks pick up a top-10 win on the road in Paris, France. And a huge thank you to Leslie Visser for capturing this historic event over Paris, okay?